SCAF Logic introduces you to a world of logic. Hello and welcome to the world of SCAF Logic. In this training video, I would like to discuss how to use the passage frame on a scaffold. In this video, I will be using Lyre All Around Scaffold. If you have a different scaffold brand, you may notice that I have different measurements and components available for use. I have already dragged three sections onto the desktop, and I will now go into the Properties menu because we can actually define the passage frame before we build the scaffold. In Properties, we will select Passage Frame Width, and I will choose 150 centimeters, which is the original component measurement. I will choose outside placement of the scaffold in the top of the passage frame. Of course, we still have the option to do this after the scaffold is built, if we need to. Let's click OK, and we now see the assembled sections color-coded to indicate that a passage frame will be erected. Let's build it up and see what we have in 3D. You can see that the system has installed ledgers at the bottom and ledgers here according to the erection guidelines by Liar. If you need to change something, you can go to the Elevation menu, Side View, and select Passage Frame, where you can choose Properties. If I need to change the width, I can do this here. I can also change the placement of the scaffold above the passage frame by clicking inside the direction group. You can see in the side view that the whole scaffold above will be moved. You can use this solution if, for instance, you want a console up here so it will fit with the wall. You can also select what kinds of decks you want placed in the system. For now, we will just leave it as it is. As you can see, the structure is very simple, and now you know exactly how to place a passage frame. Remember that a passage frame can only be used in the whole scaffold. It cannot be used for just one section.